country on a fever. Mm -hmm. It reaches Japan. Let's go. I will forever be your Miss Philippines. Yes. Anyway, however forever Catriona Gray is as Miss Philippines, we're still looking forward to seeing the new Miss Philippines that would represent the country to the next Miss Universe. Everyone is already excited. Everyone is looking forward to see that woman that would replace Catriona and give an equally superb performance for this year's pageant. It's a real tough task for the next queen to represent the Philippines because we have the current Miss Universe and at the same time we have to complete or it would be fun and great to f complete <laughs> to complete the 10 year reign of the Philippines at Miss Universe reign? yeah, 10 year reign <laughs> I mean, we have been getting into the semi-finals list for the past 9 years and it would be great if we would make it 10 years. We have Venus Shra in 2010. We have Shamsi Soup in 2011. We have... Uh... <laughs> wow, she's from UST and she's the first runner-up of 2013, of 2012. And I forgot her name. <laughs> We'll get back to her. <laughs> 2013, Ariela Arida. <laughs> 2014. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember their names by heart. Oh my God. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> Janine Tagon is 2012, all right? So it's 2014. It's at the tip of my tongue. Times like this really come, you know, once in a while. However knowledgeable or fanatic you are <laughs> on beauty pageants. <laughs> okay, 2015. Of course, be a words back. 2016, Maxine Medina. 2017 is Rachel Peters. And 2018, of course. Uh, Catriona Gray. Now let's go back to 2014. The winner was Columbia's Paulina Vega. M, M, M. Is it really M? <laughs> ML, right? <laughs> Surrender. Okay, let me check. <laughs> ah, Lastimosa. <laughs> Mary J. Lastimosa. Okay, even before I researched about it, I already knew it. Sorry about that, Miss Lastimosa. I love all of you girls. But there is a question, how will I rank all these representatives of the Philippines to the Miss Universe for the past 10 years? Okay, so at the top of the rankings, number one. <laughs> that will be next time. We are going to concentrate now on this breaking news. That Chavit Singh Son yeah, my lookalike. Yeah, I know that. You have been saying that so many times. I know that. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, for those who haven't known it yet, for those who do not read comments, a lot of people say that, well, I look like Chavit sings on. I take it as a compliment. Of course. <laughs> Now let's go to this news and let me read this to you. I'm sure a lot of you are not surprised anymore because it's been all over the paper since, yeah, right after the Miss Universe pageant in December. Especially when Chabot Singh's son flew Catriona uh, Gray, you know, back to the Philippines for that unofficial homecoming. And there were a lot of rumors circulating that, no, it's not true because there was a recent interview that uh, Stella Marquez Araneta, the grand lady behind Binibining Pilipinas, and she said that uh, the Binibining Pilipinas Universe franchise is still with them. And then I asked 
uh, a reliable person when it comes to Binibining Pilipinas, Miss Universe organization, you know, locally in the Philippines. Because it's been associated with those who are behind these great beauties and some sort of activities related to Miss Universe and Binibining Pilipinas. And he told me that, I, and I asked him that, well, I think Chavit Singson will take over soon because he he brought Catriona Gray to the Philippines by his very own jet, his very own plane. And he told me that that's not the case, that Chavit Singson was or Chavez Singson was supposed to take any any winner. That's the arrangement with the Miss Universe organization that he is assigned or requested, you know, to fly in anybody who wins Miss Universe to their own country. It just so happens that uh, the Miss Universe winner was Cariona from the Philippines. So there's no way that thing would be considered or that situation could be considered for the eventual Chavez Singson takeover of the franchise. But I kept on insisting, I kept on insisting that, but, you know, Stella Marquesa Renetta and the others behind the local Miss Universe organization should be at least present there, etc., etc., etc. But in the end, you know, I got pacified <laughs> by my friend and I was a little bit persuaded that, yes, there's nothing concrete yet. It might be, you know, still under Mrs. Araneta, or it might be under the new management. So whatever. We didn't argue, we didn't fight. Because we both believe that whoever, you know, gets the franchise for the Bidibini Filipinas Universe or the Miss Universe Philippines would do everything to make it better. Especially now that we have uh, the current Miss Universe. Okay, so let's go straight now to this news. Okay. Chavit sings on and getting Miss Universe franchise. The question by the Philippine Star. Okay, so there have been rumors that you're negotiating with the Miss Universe organization to acquire the Philippine franchise of the pageant from Bidibini Filipinas Charities Incorporated. But Stella Marquez Araneta just told media on January 3 that the franchise is still with them. What's the real score? And this is his answer. True. <laughs> the franchise is already with me. Wow. But it has not yet been announced. I think it shall be formally announced this January or February when Cat Rihanna comes back again to the Philippines. Bidibini Filipinas Universe will be replaced with Miss Universe Philippines. Noon pa yung sa akin yan. It was being offered to me since before because I have been helping them since 2016 okay so this is really something new and uh, I'm at a loss on what to say give me five minutes <laughs> well the reason might be Stella Araneta is retiring because she's old and tired enough maybe to handle this Herculean task of managing the Miss Universe Philippines. Because it's much bigger now. Especially we have seen that other local pageants for Miss, Univer for Miss Universe have been, you know, making these local pageants grandiose. And in fact, much better than, than, than what we had been doing for the past years. You know, the, the Miss Vietnam Universe local search, the Miss Thailand Universe, the Miss Indonesia Universe, and so on and so forth. They've been coming up with this high quality productions and high caliber choreography. So we really have to, you know, as what we say, level up nothing. And I think that's a good idea for the Miss Universe organization to hand it over to Chavit Singson and his crew because the moment we get back or the, the moment we get again the chance to handle the Miss Universe they wouldn't go far they would just talk to Chavit Singson and Chavit Singson will you know be the mediator between the government and the MUO two birds in one stone and with Chavit Singson's power and wealth he can easily come up with the finest 
local Miss Universe search. And knowing Chavit Singson's daring moves and the very successful business career. There is no doubt that if we have the Miss Universe again in the Philippines, he would make it sure that it would topple the Miss Universe 2018 held in Thailand from the top list of the best Miss Universe editions of all time. Well, I presume that uh, the Thailand's edition last year was one of the best, and if not the best, really, that we have seen. It doesn't diminish the fact that I consider the Miss Universe 1994 held in the Philippines as one of the greatest Miss Universe shows as well, considering that it was in the 80s. It was a superb production, really. So, what can you say about this? Do you approve of this? Well, whether we like it or not, it would still continue and will still go on to be handled by the sing songs. But do you like this idea? Me? <laughs> Me? What it was like on Bing. <laughs> my general conclusion? So husky. Okay, my general conclusion, it would be better. Period. That's how I see it. Miss Araneta has been handling the Binibini Pilipinas organization for the past 54 years. It would be a little bit painful to lose it. I just hope that the transition or the transfer was done well and that it was not forcibly taken away from her. So for your opinions, for your views, please don't forget to comment down below. And please subscribe. Please wait for my next, and that is my... This is also one of the most requested vlogs for me. You know, to share with you my wish list for Binibining Pilipinas Universe for this year. And I already have a list. Number one. 